Hi everyone, welcome to today's tea break at two. I wonder if you can spot the lost sheep hiding in my garden. And if you can, can you spot too her three little lambs? I wonder if you can see them hiding behind me. Do you know where they are? Let's have a look. Well, here is the lost sheep. We've found her. And here are one, two, three little lambs. Did you spot them? Did you see them? Well, today we're going to carry on thinking about that story. We've got a special visitor who's going to tell it to us again. So have a look and see who's joining us today. But from me and the sheep, bye! Hello, I'm Sarah. Today we're going to be reading a story about a man who had to do some counting. In fact, he had to count to a hundred at least once. So I thought, what do I have in my house that I've got a hundred of? Oh, I know, I'll go and check my teaspoons. I've got a lot of teaspoons, you know. So I went and I got them all out of the drawer. Can you see? I really have got quite a lot, haven't I? But do you know, there are only actually 23 of those. So I had another thing. What could I count? a hundred of. So I went and I found some breakfast cereal and I counted a hundred of these little shreddies. Now do you suppose if I took just one out anybody would notice? Mm, maybe not. And then I thought oh this is quite good. I counted a hundred pieces of spaghetti. Now if I took just one out. Do you think anybody would notice? I don't think anybody would notice. So then I thought, oh, I'll count some Lego. There's lots of Lego in my house. And so I counted a hundred pieces of Lego, all different shapes and sizes. Now, if I took one of those pieces out, do you think anybody would notice? Well, I think that perhaps if I took one of these little faces, somebody might notice because that might be the very face they're looking for. But in today's story, we read about a shepherd who does notice when one sheep goes missing. Have you spotted my sheep behind me, Mr. Sheep? Now, Mr. Sheep, he doesn't look much like a normal sheep, does he? But he's a very special sheep and he's been living in my house for actually quite a long time and he especially likes stories that are about sheep. So today's story is called The Lost Sheep and it's written by a lady called Beth Ann Lysette and it's available from 10 of those. So if you like the story and you want to read it again, you'll be able to find it from 10 of those. So let's start reading our story. This is a story that Jesus told of a little sheep who went out from the fold. The gate was left wide one day and into the lane little sheep went to play. The shepherd had told of the danger outside but little sheep thought that he probably just lied. So slowly the little sheep went down the track and at the end of the lane, he never even looked back. The orchard had apples and pears on the trees and butterflies danced on the cool summer breeze. This is a strange page because now it turns round that way. Little sheep had been gone from the fold quite a while and ran right ahead when he saw a big stile. Over and then under to go through he tried but something so simple was quite hard to do. He finally got through with a 
push and a <laughs> squeeze and continued his journey on into the trees. Little Sheep went through the trees till he heard a wolf start to howl and he got very scared. He should have listened to what Shepherd had said and wished he was back in the fold, safe in bed. He tried to run home through the trees, but he found he was lost and he fell in a hole in the ground. He couldn't climb out as the hole was too deep for those with short legs like lost little sheep. Back in the field, Shepherd started to count. A hundred sheep should have been the amount. One, two, three, four. Can you see some sheep there with spots? A little bit like I, Mr. Sheep. Five, six, seven, eight, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. But counting to 99, Shepherd did see one less of his precious sheep than there should be. He started to count all the sheep once again. The twins, little back one, the one that was lame. Looking around, he noticed the gate a new little sheep must have made an escape. He searched high and he searched down low on the lane, hoping to find little sheep once again. He went through the orchard and over the stile, all the time looking for little sheep's smile. Sheep was so scared what the shepherd would say, knowing the trouble he'd brought his own way. But hearing the shepherd calling for him, a bah escaped that he couldn't keep in. Shepherd was happy to see his sheep there and helped him right out with no time to spare. Sheep was so tired he fell straight to sleep and dreamed of his field and the 99 sheep. But Wolf had missed out on catching his dinner and settled for fish and chips to stop getting thinner. The little sheep had become lost when he went his own way and didn't stay where the shepherd had said it was safe. Just like the little sheep in this story, we have all gone our own way and strayed from the good shepherd, God. He doesn't want any of us to remain lost and he loves us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to find us. Jesus went to the cross to take the punishment for the wrong things we have done. And if we trust in him, one day he will take us back with him to his fold, heaven. In John chapter 10, verse 11, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. I'm so glad that that shepherd went and found little sheep because little sheep was quite a scared, scared when he was away from the shepherd and away from his special sheepfold. And I'm glad that Jesus came to find me too. And that one day I know that I will go and live in his fold in heaven. Bye bye.